Hey guys, welcome back to the Shipping Container Workshop. Uh, I've been on a bit of a kick now with the Chinese tools and uh, I thought I would just continue with an ER32 collet holder and also some ER32 collets that I picked up from you know, East Asia. Now, this one here is a Morse Taper 4 and it's an ER32 Morse Taper 4 and the reason why I got a Morse Taper 4 is because my Decal FP1 has a Morse Taper 4 um, spindle. Now of course this one's going to require a bit of work because I have to get underneath this hardening here or I'll assume it's hardening, we're going to test that out in a second soon and I have to shorten this a little bit so that I can put a drawbar stud into there which is, I don't remember, it's some weird decal I think it's like um, 20 by 2 or something like that, some, some weird kind of thread and uh, I have to make up a bunch of those because I have a boring boring head I also have to have to do that for so first of all what we'll do is we'll just have a look at the general fit and finish of this particular piece of equipment and then we'll, um, we'll check to see if it's actually hardened or if it's just a scam now if you can hear put it right up this thing is as smooth as a baby's bum it is just the thread on this is spectacular um, that was the first thing I noticed when I bought this thing and to give you an idea of the price I paid It was between 25 to 30 dollars for this Now bear in mind that is directly from the manufacturer that was not from a retailer anything like that I bought this directly from the manufacturer for 25 to 30 dollars and if you have a look well, Let's have a look at this one first I'll try to get the the light in here so that you can have a look at what the surfaces look like and I'll just zoom in so you can get a better idea so you can see that all of that is ground you know it's just superb the fit and finish on this thing is just amazing so you know it's they've done a brilliant job here that's for sure so if we have a look at the nut then for it that holds the ER32 collet, I think the fit and finish on this is just amazing. All the surfaces, all the mating surfaces in there, all ground. Like everything is ground, nothing is, is left, just turned. And of course the proof is in the pudding that when you when you thread this, there's no crunchiness, there's, there's none of that noise that you'd get with a, a cheap crappy uh, cheap crappy tool. So this is just as good as anything that I've ever used that was European to be honest and I'm not ragging on the European stuff I'm just saying that you know if the quality is good the quality is good what more can you say so then I ordered a bunch of collets at the same time so I've got a full set now what I haven't done is I haven't checked that these are any that these are any good then that's what I might do now of course you've got all the oil in the world on these things so they don't rust so they're covered with the generous generous serving of oil. So what I might do, I might just get one of these files off the wall and we'll give this a test and we'll see whether or not these are actually hardened. So yeah, not, as, not as hard as I'd like, that's for sure. It's taken some taking some material off, it's certainly biting. Hmm, well what can I expect for two bucks a pop? Well, let's try... Now that's certainly... The finish is coming off on that. But this seems to be a bit harder, this is just skating on top of that. So this appears to be hardened and ground. But, um, yeah those collets, not so much. But for two bucks, Providing, and I'm not able to chuck this up because I've got to turn this thing down first. But providing that um, the running out's okay on these, I'm not going to complain even still. Oh, actually, why don't we fit that in there and just see how that works? Maybe there's some major issue with this actually fitting inside. Now, I know we've got some oil on this, but. Oh, come on. Maybe 
I should have popped it in here first. Right, let's see if we can get this thing to run on. Yeah, I think I've got to pop this into here first. We can force it in by here. There we go. Certainly, certainly looks like it fits just fine. Yeah, not too shabby. I mean, providing that the runout's okay on this, you get no complaints for me because this whole setup has just cost about twenty-seven dollars. So, I mean, I can buy one every other week at that price. Yeah. Anyway, we'll pop that one out with the. Right. So overall, not too, uh, I'm not too disappointed with this. It's um, for the money, you can't go wrong. So the ER2, ER32 collet holder from China. Uh, if you're interested in the manufacturer who actually made this, I'll get that information to you guys down in the down in the description. But like I said, you know, if you if you spend the money on Chinese tools, you're going to get something okay. I could have spent far more on these collets. In, in fairness. You know, you can't really expect to spend two, three dollars on a collet and then have it perform like like a German-made collet. But then for the German-made stuff, I would have paid a hell of a lot more as well. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that, and um, yeah, stay tuned. I've I've also got some reviews on some carbide center drills that I also got from China, so I'll have a bit of a play with them and I'll show you how they look and and how they function as well. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, have fun in your shop.